Okay, so we're going to have a look at the typography now. And we see that the menu items are a uh, different color and uh, so we'll need to look at those. We'll also need to change the font, the font being Arial currently as the default font. Um, we'll need to change that to Georgia as per our website mock-up. So we're going to go and find the body tag over there on the left and we can see that that body tag has got the font family in it. So we're just going to change that to Georgia and you can see at the, in the web page that it immediately changes it. We'll put in a couple of other options for the browser to choose from. And there we go, that's looking pretty cool. So we'll just copy that. Go find line 287 in our CSS file. It's there in the typography section. We're just going to highlight that a lot, paste our new CSS in, save it up, a quick refresh and that style's now live on the web server. Let's take a look at this uh, H2 tag that we've got here. Now we see that's a little bit larger than our text there that's 24px. So we're going to go back to that H2 tag and because we've highlighted it and inspected it we can now change that directly. We take make that 24. We might just move that letter spacing up one and that looks pretty cool. Just knock the line height down a bit now that we've uh, reduced the font size. That's great. And we'll copy that. Go and find line 316, and there it is. Paste it in. Save. Refresh that web page, and you can see how quickly we can start adding styles and getting things looking exactly like our mock up. So next is our menu um, and what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create some menu items um, and some articles to go with them. So if we go to our article manager and we will select our demo article and we're going to use that as the template to create uh, some new articles. So first we're going to need our about page and we're going to save that as a copy. Uh, we'll just uh, get the right text in there as well. And we also need a prices page. And that's the beauty of 1.7, 1.6 onwards. Save as copy is a real godsend when you're creating multiple articles, especially if they are similar in structure. So we're going to add the nail care page. Save that up. And we've got the feedback page. Don't forget to clear the alias when you're uh, saving as copies. Okay, and I think last up is the com contact. So we'll just put that in. And there's our set of pages. Now I think I may have missed one. about seems yeah I think I may have made that a uh, let's make that a home and let's just save that one and we'll just remake that about page quickly actually just change that to the welcome message on the home page, save that and we'll just 
quickly make up that about again cool so we're done we've got all our articles now we're going to go and create some menu items so that we can style this menu up and at the same time attach all the content articles to those menu items so that when it comes to actually we'll just cancel that for a second when it comes to actually uh, adding the content then we, we shall be good to go so if we take our home and we'll call that about and we shall save as copy again once we've chosen the article again the save as copy really coming into its own so when we need the prices page choose the article there you go save as a copy and next we'll get our nail care page going choose the article save as a copy incredibly fast way to create content menu items okay we're just going to put our feedback menu item in attach the article good stuff and save as copy and finally our contact menu item attach the article, save as copy and within a couple of minutes we've got the base content for our entire website okay good stuff let's go take a look at the front end give that a refresh and there we have our menu items but you can see that you need a little bit of styling going on here um, you can see that the uh, Font is a different color, so we're going to check what that color is. And we'll just take that hex and we'll inspect that. And there we can see the color can just be pasted straight in. Immediately it changes on the website. So we're just going to check the font size. It was 18 as well. So we're going to go and find 173 on our CSS file 173 paste that in give it a save and head back over to our refresh now we can see here as well that um, there's a bit of spacing that needs to happen here so I'm going to look at the padding here I'm going to push that padding so the margin just out a little bit and you see how easy it is to just very quickly get this looking like our design without having to do any coding so let's just whack it up to about 30 see how that's looking and maybe copy copy that I'll just double check actually now it's a little might be a little bit too much on the right hand side there of the margin we'll just bring that back a touch that's probably a little bit more like our uh, design and there just seems to be a bit too much padding on the left there maybe it's not that bit there well we're just going to paste that in for the time being so we've got the we've got the basis of that so we'll just go and find that line there it is on 165 we'll paste that in and give it give that a save and a refresh and starting to really take shape now okay let's uh, take a look now at that line height because it looks like the margin at the bottom that creates the border might be just a little bit too high we'll just check that out maybe it just needs just up a touch on there Ooh, that may be a little too high. Let's check our mock up. Yep, yeah, we've overcooked that slightly, so let's put that back to uh, 
something like that that's a bit more like it we'll grab that copy go fine line 156 on our template CSS 156 and in it goes and a quick refresh and we've updated our website now there is still a little margin on that left hand side there that's what was bugging me so I'm just going to take that down to zero recopy that yeah I'm going to recopy that and paste it back into one six, line 165 just to tidy it up slightly. Quick refresh, and there we go. Looks like our navigation is looking pretty sharp.